Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Amiens have gone with a 4-5-1, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. So it's away we go then. Tries to get it forward quickly. Plays it over to the other flank. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Battles to win it back. And it's played forward. Plays it out to the flank. Now surely! And that's sprayed out wide. to set himself for the strike. Amiel take the early advantage. Quick ball forward, cuts it out. Amiel making the ideal start, it is something to build on. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. Amiel are very much in charge here, dominating possession and a goal to the good. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Well weighted. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that, because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing, but instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to, uh, to dig in for his team here. And he has a pop! Oh! It's got a rattle. Priority.
forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there. It's a loose ball. Has a hit! It's anyone's ball. That's a cracking strike, and it may have stung the palms of the keeper. Hoists it forward. Tries to switch the play. What a throw in. And it's played forward. The keeper's ball. Looking to hit the front line. He's made sure that that won't get through. Hardly anything between the sides. The score is 1 0. The first half is done. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticky. No one's afraid to have a go. Amiel leading 1 0 at the break. So we're just settling back into this second half. Amiel really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Across the field it goes. Out to the left it goes. And that's one way to annoy his teammates. Traore. Hoists it forward. Has he found his man? Still separated by the game's open. It's one! Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Forward it goes. Well, that's where he wants it. Ball is over the line. Traore. Nice to get it forward quickly. And the defence can get it clear. Tries to get it clear. Mets are definitely going about this the right way. Well, Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Chance to break. Let's try or it. A buccaneering run from the defender. Massive leap! Orbs needed a better contact. Well, he certainly got to the ball well enough, but the rest didn't quite come off him. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Played out to the right. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Crosses it in. Defending of the desperate variety.
gets his head to it. Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Mets are very keen on the aerial route. Look, if you're good at it and instructed to carry on doing it, then you find a way of making it work, and they are. And that's been won straight back. Amiens are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Finds himself eased off the ball. Mets have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. And he's there to clear it. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Amiens. Need to hold on for a few more moments. And there goes the final whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tidy. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. If you sum up what we've 